All right, boys are at it again. Here we are in sunny, not very sunny, downtown Thargaminda. We trailered the bikes out here with the ute, and Daryl's gone and got rid of his Aprilia and got himself a CF Moto, so it'll be interesting to see his opinions on that with a bit of a comparison. But yeah, so we're all loaded up. Finally got my um, genuine racks, but never got my taller seat yet, so CF Moto need to lift their game a bit with the um, parts supply, and Daryl's set his up nicely. He's gone and got bark busters and the neat little GPS holder thingy mount thing. What else have we done to this one? That's about it. Bark busters. Bark busters. GPS holder. Oh yeah, and your little power point around this side. And your heated grips obviously, because we wouldn't be without them. And he's put this fancy sticker kit on it. Different which I thought, wow, that looks nice. I'll get you to give me a hand with that. And he's like, nope, it's a horrible job fitting that. <laughs> but yeah, so, and he's made himself some nice homemade racks. To, uh, he's a bit nicer than the quick and dirty ones I had, but I already had these ones on order, so we, uh, yeah, so I wasn't too stressed about making good ones. I put a few litres in the bladder just to be safe. We should be okay. We spoke to Hungerford and they got fuel. So we're on our way down to the off-centre alley in the Flinders Ranges. Um, yeah, been heaps of rain, so we'll see what happens. Road closures and where we end up and how we do it, but we'll work it out. Some of the weird and wonderful things you find out here in the bush. A couple of Chinese motorcycles and an old Suzuki. This is on the road between Hungerford and Wanaring. We're actually in New South Wales now. We've crossed the border. How are you travelling on your little Chinese bike today, Daz? Pretty good. Pretty Not good? Complaints. You reckon you might need to shout yourself a steering damper, but... Oh, yeah. You had a little bit of a wobble when you got over 120. It's a shaky at 120. On a closed loop circuit, of course, because yeah. we would never speed. That's right. But yeah, okay. Oh, well, that's something. But yeah, you're used to steering dampers. I've never really had much to do with them, so it never really bothered me, but... So there you go, look at us fancy pantsers. But isn't that cool? Something I like, I like seeing people get creative. Night one camping on the bikes. We've got two nights in the tent on the way in there out in the car, but yeah. So there's the old guy lighting our fire. We're just out here having a bush camp. I don't know, between Wanaring and White Cliffs. There's the old fella's bike. There's a little three man dome tent. We live in large. And my little sickle. And the old three man dome tents, these are the go. You've got so much space in there, you can put your helmet and your boots and your jacket and everything in there and stay nice and dry. And then just for the little giggle, this bike ended up getting the constant lighter charger. So we're giving both our tablets a charge up so we can get movies tonight when it gets too cold and go to bed. <laughs> Boys really do rough it. So. This morning, we've made our way to Silverton and we find ourselves at the Mad Max Museum. It's pretty windy, so I hope that's working. It's the old fella on his little this little CF. So the Mad Max we see him in at Silverton. While we're out this way, it'd be silly not to go and have a look. That's our stretch <laughs> Yeah, you're not allowed to film inside the museum you part, but uh, out here with the vehicles you are. <laughs> so it's 10 bucks to get in here for an adult. The last of the V8 Interceptors. I was never a big fan of those movies, but hey. Pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty proud of it in this area, I suppose, so it's good. There's one theme I'm noticing here, Daz. Yeah. The only things that survive the end of the world is forwards. There's not a hold them to be seen. <laughs> That's a good thing. How good's that? There you go. The only thing that survives the end of the world is Fords. <laughs> you got a saddle on the bike. Yep. It'd some... be, be fun to do, you reckon? Yep. And some freaky buggies. Yeah, this is definitely worth the 10 bucks. And then there's the Silverton Hotel. Had a bit of breakfast at the Silverton Bakery. Yeah, they got this cool old Mad Max looking Volkswagen. Yeah, it's a very interesting little town. So this is the view from the Monday Monday lookout. Saw so the trucks with all the firewood on the way in and everything they all prepared for the Monday Monday bash next weekend. This wind might make this a bit hard to hear, but we'll see how it turns out. Chinese sickles. One ugly old dude. Monday Monday Bash must be down along there, around here somewhere. I don't know where, but it's um, 
trying to find tracks to take us from here to the Flinders, but talking to the locals and the information place, they reckon that it's all going to be uh, locked gates and stuff, so we're going to slab it for a couple of hundred this morning down to Yunta. We're into the Flinders Ranges proper. Something my old trans out never did was make it to South Australia. It went to every other state. So the little Chinese bikes are already in South Australia. Oh, bloody hell, it's cold, man. Cold and windy. So we've pulled up tonight in a nice little camp spot here with a crap ton of firewood. Haven't pitched my tent yet. Daryl's super organised. I've got a brand new tent this morning in Broken Hill. Got my other one, the zipper, started to crap out. Look at a load of this what he's found. A dog trap. What a horrible, horrible way to trap a dog. Yeah, you'd really have to look at yourself if you did that for a living. And then just near our campsite, we got this little visitor. Little echidna. Daryl was sitting in his chair. And he's like, oh, there's an armadillo. North Americans, they're weirdos. Yeah, so we got a little echidna. You don't see too often these guys hanging around where you can see them alive. You usually see them dead on the side of the road. But yeah, it's a nice little treat for this campsite. So we're just south of the Flinders Ranges now on the road between um, Yunter and Hawker. And oh, what a beautiful day on these roads, man. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous. These little sea of tomatoes are just loving this stuff, man. Yeah, very nice, man. These guys definitely got these little bikes right. I just need to wind my rear shock up a little bit. I've bottomed it out a couple of times. Possibly a heavier spring because I'm pretty loaded. But uh, other than that, man, what a neat little package out of the box. And it's a beautiful day today here in the Flinders Ranges. We're getting the nice ranges in the background. Here's the old boy. Lovely. Starting to get some nice views of the ranges. Glorious day. It was a bit cool this morning when we first took off, but it's just turning out really nice now. The temperature's lovely. And a couple of little Chinese sickles. And the boys are at the Razorback Lookout again. Just were chatting to a few lads on their dirt bikes squirting around the place. There's heaps of bikes here at the moment with the old centre rally up the road. But uh, yes, roads in here are just amazingly fun. Squirting around these dirt roads. What do you reckon, Daz? No good? Yes, it's pretty cool. It's nice, isn't it? Here comes the old guy. We're in the Bunaroo Gorge. This is this life. What a nice little part of the world to ride through. Yeah, this gorge, man. This is just gorgeous for here. Just, yeah. Lovely, lovely place to go for a ride. And we were just riding along through the Flinders Ranges. We come across a sign that said the Great Wall of China. So we thought, well, we better bring our Chinese cycles to the Great Wall of China. That's the Flinders, my friend. What do you reckon? Well, we don't speak Chinese. We do. Hung fat. Hung fat, yes. Chow mein. Yeah, no, very, very cool, the old Flinders. It's one of those places, it'd be good to bring the caravan and go for a wander through the walking trails. I'm on the bikes, we're just blatting around, having too much fun. But, um... It'd be a good one for the missus. Yeah, yeah, wander around through the gorges, and if you're into bird life and all that sort of crap, well, that's your thing, but, um, yeah, it's a good place to go for a ride. Long way to come, just for a short ride, but... Mm -hmm. But, that's not the only reason we're here. And I'm break, so. so we've rolled up here to the off Santa rally at Arkarula. Nice, had a nice sunset last night. There's our little tickles. And we're, we're a bit more hardcore than our friends we've hooked up with. <laughs> our mates have got sidecars. Get a load of these monstrosities. This is Will's thing. Look at the amount of crap they carry. Love it. So we're glad to be camping next to them because he's got um, the fire pit and everything. This is Rob's one over here. You get a load of these things. G what are they? GSX 1400? Monsters, man. And the sidecar. He fits that whole swag and all that shit in the side to the side there. Yeah, we're sitting here last night with a fire pit. Very civilised. Don't hate it. But uh, yeah, no, there's some, there's some crap. This guy's Bernie's. Look at this colour one. Yeah, these guys meet up from all over the countryside. It's really good. <coughs> yeah, but no. <nah. laughs> Pretty outlandish little setups.
one of the funny things about having these new little Chinese bikes, these little CF motos, there's a lot of interest in them <laughs> all day and all this afternoon. Daryl has just been chatting to people, they keep coming up to him, what's this thing like? Are these things any good? Everyone's curious about them, but uh, yeah, Daryl likes to yapping about them all day, it's good. <laughs> He's telling everyone what he likes and what he doesn't like. <laughs> Alright, the off center rally was a success. Boys drank lots of eleven dollar beers. And now we are 118 from Cameron's corner where we're getting a burger. We've got Rob with the sidecar joining us today. And the two little Chinese bikes. We've been going into a headwind, so we're a bit thirstier than we thought we were. Um, I reckon we'll be pretty empty by the time we get to Cameron's. But that's okay. Because these friggin' monstrosities have got jerry cans of petrol. We're not gonna die. He won't let me die in the desert, me little buddy. He's doing good. Beautiful. Yeah, it's a little bit of tar here on the corner, but yes, that's us on our way to Cameron's. Here's a trap for the young players. If you see a side track, take it. Don't go through the mud hole. <laughs> He's balked his, bro. There's some lads with a car not far behind us, so if we can't tow this out with my little bike, we'll... Uh, those boys will get it out, no worries. But <laughs> so yes, there you go. If you see a side track, Rob, take it. <laughs> so it's a bit of a spirit of comradeship here in the desert. Daryl and I helped old mate lift that Suzuki on the back of that Ute before. It's having an electrical gremlin, and now these guys are giving Rob a tug with this piece of rope. Hopefully, the rope's strong enough to do it. <laughs> Easy. Whoa. Yep. Piece of puss. And this afternoon, we find ourselves at Cameron Corner. So we got Queensland, New South Wales, and South Australia. I'm still in South Australia. I've got to step over there to go to Queensland. And there's the Cameron Corner store and my little bike. So we've uh, just fueled up here. We had to just head on down the road, another 5, 10, 20 k's, whatever we find, and find a bush camp for the night. And that'll be our last camp on the uh, bikes. And then uh, back to the old truck tomorrow at um, Dargaminder and on our way home to Bundy. It's been a great adventure. So we got into Cameron's Corner last night. We camped just a couple of k's away. Just to find out that the road to Thargaminda, which is only 340 k's, is all still closed for that wet weather last week. So we've got to go through New South Wales again, down to Tipperbara. So there's the border gate. Oh, well, that'll add a day to our trip. That's okay. Now, Tipperbara, I've just lost the boys for a bit, but heck, I can see their lights coming in the distance. Man, there is a whole lot of nothing around here. Good little bike. These little bikes are fantastic if anyone's curious too, man. Um, I don't know, a couple of thousand k's run around the outback, can't bolt it. So if you want to get into adventure riding, just go and buy one of these, you can't go wrong. Yeah. So yeah, we've had the big run around today through um, Tipperborough and Wanaring, which was excellent. And then the track from Wanaring up, we did the different way we went the other day, and it was excellent. So now we're in Hungerford. We've got this house for the night, 200 bucks between the three of us, so whatever that, 80 bucks each or something, 70 bucks each. Um, yeah, these little Chinese bikes, honestly, I I'm still can't get the smile off my face. This thing's got no business being this good for that price. Yeah, if you're thinking about being an adventure rider, just go buy one. They're amazing. Um, yeah, I've just done 3,000 k's through the Outback and it has not missed a beat. Nothing's wiggled loose, nothing's nothing. I bought my tools with me and haven't used them. That's... Uh, been phenomenal but this on the other hand this monster i might set himself a bit of a bit of a conniption it's gone and broke the frame you can see that up in there so apparently there's a guy here in this town with a welder so we'll have a chat to him tonight at the pub and see if we can get that welded um yeah so easy peas so yeah we're back in the ute and we've just pulled up at the yulo pub and look who we find. Oh boy, but the old mate down at um, Hungerford, they spent a couple of hours this morning and gone above and beyond. So now, 
that's all welded up and fixed up and like a brand new -y under there so happy days Rob here is a pretty happy boy real happy except now it looks like it's gonna rain so it sucks to be him I'm glad nothing frightens the Triton with my auto wipers and then this morning we left Rob he was just getting his thing welded up at uh, Hungerford and then we'll meet him again at Yule eh? he's going a different direction we're at Thargo we've made it back to the truck so we'll load these beasts up and uh, head on back to Bundy so we'll call that a video how many k's did we do all up about three thousand two and a half thousand or something uh, 2600. 2600. What do you reckon about your little weapon for your um, outback trip? Good? As a keeper. Yeah, dude. Stay tuned for our next video, man. We'll do a um, a bit of a go over of Daryl's one, and he can tell you why he went from the Aprilia to this thing. But uh, yeah, no, I'm pretty chuffed with that. That's a good effort. Yeah, these bikes, again, I've probably said it already on this video, and if I haven't, go and buy one, man. They're good. You can't go wrong with them. Everywhere we went, we just had people coming up to us going, oh, are these things any good? Kind of got sick of saying, yeah, man, they're good. Go buy one. They're nine grand. Go buy one. <laughs> so, Hard to argue. Damn straight. Yeah, no, they did really well. They're flawless. All right, we'll call that a video. See you on the next one.